pagers are back. This is the Lilygo T Lower Pager. And <laughs> this thing, honestly, it just seems like every day at the moment in the mesh world, there is just something exciting going on. So what this basically is, is a fully standalone lower messaging device. And you can see here, we've got MeshCore running on it. If you don't know what MeshCore is, it's basically an off-grid messaging system that doesn't use the internet. And you can basically use little devices like this to send messages, short text messages back and forth. And because MeshCore uses repeaters that mesh together, you can cover huge areas and you can create your own own private messaging network. So let's take a closer look then. So the first thing you notice about this device is the screen. The screen is really nice. I mean, it's obviously only like an LCD screen, um, but it is absolutely lovely. And and you can see that it's actually better than the T-Deck screen. This is the T that Lilygo T-Deck Plus. Um, so you can see on that morning there, so you know, you get some sort of jaggedy bits around the fonts on this particular one. But on this one, you don't, it's very, very sharp and very, very clear. It's obviously smaller than the T-Deck one, but the device itself is a little bit smaller than the than the T-Deck itself anyway. So this is gonna be ideal for just slipping in a pocket, you know, as a kind of everyday carry type thing. I, I usually use this as an everyday carry for MeshCore, um, but I don't know, we'll see how we get on, but this, this, could, be, this could be my new one, especially as it has these antennas, which, kind of just fold around like this and I was not completely sure about this in the first instance but I think this is pretty cool because what it obviously means is you can stash away the antennas when you're just kind of just when you've got it in your pocket which reduces the form factor of this thing but when you want to start using this thing you can just fold out the antennas and that is going to really help the transmit side because we know that kind of buried antennas inside the cases of these things like like the original T-Deck here, the antenna's somewhere around here. We know that these aren't efficient. They do kind of receive quite well, but they won't transmit that well. So this could really sort of solve that. A note about these antennas as well. One of them is a 2.4 gig antenna, and the other one is a lower one. I'm not sure which is which. I feel like it might be this one for the lower one, but I'm, I'm gonna have to rip this apart and find out, I suppose. <laughs> Actually, on closer inspection, I think it's this one that's the lower antenna, because it's got a little bit of coax there, you can see. But on this side, you can't actually see any coax at all so is this just a dummy antenna i don't know time will tell but at least there's an antenna there we can put something in if we want to do a diy job on it so what else then so we've got a few buttons down here we've got a reset button um, i think that's the boot button and some sort of user button as well um we're not using those in MeshCore at the moment um but basically the boot button the way you get this thing into dfu mode if you're watching this video trying to figure it out um you basically hold these two buttons down and then you plug in the USB lead and then it will show up in your sort of uh, flasher or whatever. You've got an SD card slot and a USB-C, which is for charging and programming. So this thing's pretty fully loaded. It's got a speaker, it's got a headphone jack on the top for whatever you'd want to use that for. <laughs> Maybe we can make some MP3 playing um, feature of this or something like that. It's got GPS, a GNSS receiver, a bit like the T-Deck Plus, so it's quite power efficient um, in that way. Power efficiency wise, I haven't done any tests on this yet. I've left it running all night and it lost probably like 0.2 of a, a volt on the battery, so that's not bad. The battery itself is 1500 milliamp hours, so it's slightly smaller smaller than the T-Deck battery, but obviously the device is a bit smaller as well. So yeah, you know, and the screen's smaller, so maybe it will take less power, I don't know. The keyboard's backlit, it looks really nice at night. This has haptics as well, which is a posh name for vibrator. <laughs> so this will actually vibrate in your pocket um, when you get a message. The MeshCore firmware supports this, which is pretty nice. And you might have noticed this is not a touch screen, which I think is fine because the screen's pretty small. And it, you kind of navigate with this, um, with this scroll wheel, which which also clicks as well, so you can get into your, your stuff here. So what we're looking at here is an early alpha release of the MeshCore firmware. Scott's done an amazing job getting this up and running, including having to kind of deal with this new um, wheel. I mean, the trackball on the T-Deck was, was kind of never that great. This actually feels quite, quite nice to use, actually. You can easily get around menus and kind of do what you need to do um, using the 
buttons. The keyboard is a little bit stiff. I'm hoping it's gonna kind of, you know, loosen up a little bit. Um, you're not, definitely not gonna be able to type really fast on this keyboard. You can type faster on the keyboard on the T-Deck. I think that's always gonna be the case. Although I have noticed they might have changed the keyboard on that um, T-Deck now. It's, it's got sort of more rubber looking keys. I don't know how that's gonna work. I need to get hold of one to see. But I am actually a fan of the old sort of BlackBerry style keyboard. It's pretty fast to use. You can get pretty quick on that. Um, and if you use this, if you use this every day, oh, it's vibrating. Might have a message. So it's not the craziest vibrate. You probably can't even hear that. It's literally pretty subtle, but it's it's enough to. If it's in your pocket, I think it'll probably be fine. So what we got here? A public message um, from PR. Yeah, I just said it was quiet today, and we got a response there from PR Mobile. So to get into these sort of menus at the top here, you can just hit the out button, which is this like orange covered button here um, you hit that and then you can obviously get there's not much in this context menu here just the raise messages and then to get back you just do out on this back button as well and then you can kind of navigate around so some of the other screens have like the context menu so if you go into like this repeater here and then hit out and then enter you can see you can get stats you can do your path do all of that stuff there back out of that so you know you can get used to this and kind of fly around pretty quickly once you kind of know what you're doing with it also it's got maps as well so the maps are stored on tiles on the sd card and you can get into the maps by basically toggling and using the space bar you know you can do that and then unsurprisingly you can scroll with the scroll wheel um, to zoom as well obviously this is esp32 so it's not the fastest thing in the world but you know it does the job a lot of people complain about esp32 being really power hungry but you're not going to be able to do this on a on an nrf device esp32 s3s have actually got quite a lot of horsepower for the power consumption so in that way they are pretty good for repeaters though it's best to use something lower power like an nrf52 something like that it's like i've started waking some people up as well a couple of messages in there and there is a good question from pr will the lower pager be your go-to device or the t-deck interesting one that is a tough one i mean i'm lucky here i've got all of the devices haven't i but and i think i would probably take this one out with me and then use this one at home that's probably what i'll do and the reason i say that is because of this because you can basically fold it up and it takes up very little space in your pocket and then when you actually want to use it you can just pull that antenna out i mean yes you can put an external antenna on a t-deck like that and have it in your pocket but this this is just a pain to me it just means that look at the size of it it's just, you know when you're carrying a phone your keys and everything else with you yeah it's, it's just another device isn't it this is practically the size of a companion radio so you might as well just take this um, that's my thoughts on it also, we can't forget the smartphone app, which of course you can use with MeshCore and, you know, like a companion radio, like this Lilygo T-Echo. Um, so basically, there's a lot of stuff you can do on this app that you might not be able to do on the standalone devices, um, like the diagnostic features and stuff. And this app is flipping awesome. Check out this new feature that Liam's kind of put in this latest app. Basically, if you send a public message and just send this out like that, you can see on the screen how many repeats you've had. So how many times it's been repeated by a repeater which is pretty cool so when you're out and about now if you send a public message you can actually see whether you've kind of actually been heard by anything this that's really really neat you can also tell on the standalone device you see this little green dot flashing when you receive something you get a little green dot flash in there and it's also a good indication for um, interference as well so that's about it then definitely a cool little device and i'm going to be using this one a lot so i'll let you know how it goes um i think these are literally just not available to order yet you can i don't even think there's a pre-order so um keep an eye on the website it'll be listed on our mesh call website in the usual way so you should be able to find it pretty easily anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this one and i will catch you next time